Test driving this snail. If he doesn't perk up in a few seconds, I might <laughs> swap, him swap him out. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont and New England Federal Credit Union. My name's Ava Solberger, and this here is my little friend. He's a snail. We're at the Intervale Community Farm in Burlington, Vermont, and we're here at the 12th annual Slippery Little Sucker Snail Race. And my snail's gonna win. It's obvious. that happens once a year and it's a bunch of Intervale farmers getting together. They work hard and this is their chance to unwind, hang out, and raise snails. You choose your snail, you name your snail. Spartacus. I kind of try to give him a little bit of a horse name, like Kentucky Derby style. His name is Justin Slime. He's awake, he's active. Mine's perking up. Lil Winna, here you are. He's holding back the energy till game time. He's got power. He's got muscles underneath that shell. The snails go pretty slow, so <laughs> so it's a pretty relaxing race. <laughs> the snail race is the brainchild of Linus Hanratty. 13 years ago, when I was at the Bread and Roses farm in Westford, they were having a little birthday party for me. There was a snail on my dog, and he moved really fast. And I was like, oh, maybe we should race them. That's the picture of the snail. Everyone knows Linus at the Intervale. And Linus loves snails. I just kind of like that they have little houses on their back and then their little antennas stick out. Little slime balls. I just like animals. I just think it's hysterical. Pretty much that's it. It's a really peaceful spot. Really good people, good snails, good dogs. <laughs> There's all this urban farming happening in North America, but there's real farmland. Now, there's 350 acres out this way, and there's lots of farmers down here. Like farm people, uh, Diggers Mirth, Half Pine Farm, Pitch Fork Farm. In the peak of the summer, how many people are working in agriculture within a half mile radius of you? Maybe 65 or something, so. It's become the first time we get together after the craziness of spring and planting and getting things every, everything in the ground where we don't have time to really talk to each other or meet with each other or drink a beer with each other. Even tonight everyone's like, I haven't seen you since last fall. It's great. And Linus has been so great at making sure that we get together every year this time because it's also his birthday. There's a lot of reasons to gather. The snails are an excuse. <laughs> Which one are you going to choose? I got to go with this one because he chose me. I usually go for how perky they look. And you can tell because they have their little eyeballs out and they're not all holed up in their shell. Make sure it's got the shell intact and it has both its antennae. Is he alive? Is he sleeping? Who knows? You can't tell if it's waking up or if it's just holding on for dear life. <laughs> and I have chosen a good snail in the past because I was the fifth annual snail race winner. And my snail was the uh, winner of the first uh, first annual race. He's just sitting there. He's broken but beautiful. Uh -huh. Yesterday evening, Linus and I were down here collecting these snails for the race. Here there's a lot of snails. It literally took me and Jen Bird like 15 minutes to collect 150 snails. Snails, we tend to ignore. Our particular farm has a live and let live philosophy with pests. In wet years, they're a really bad thing, and they tend to eat a lot of the le you know tender leafy greens like salad mixes, lettuces. We figure we grow enough to share. <laughs> we own beer there too, but they like snail better. You know, it's a hit or miss. You put the beer in the track, you put a little bit so they smell it, and then they go towards it. But um, my snails always sit right there. You know, some snails don't go straight, they kind of go sideways or backwards. They can smell the beer, so that's what that's their motivation to move, the Guinness. Yep. <laughs> snails have a hard time keeping focused, so you don't want to give them too much room. So the 20 row seed tray seems to be the right length. I'm feeling good, I picked a good number, so our heads are in the game. I think we're ready to just do this. Oh yeah, no, put your shoes. Go! <laughs>
and then it was my housemate Megan O'Rourke and Jen Bird neck to neck. Oh my gosh, Megan oh. 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 But it got pretty heated in the end this time. For a while, her snail was neck and neck with my mom's snail. Oh. Ed was about to win and pulling ahead just a little bit. Oh, he's oh, reaching the head! But at the last second, Ed kind of veered right, and Sigmund kept going and won. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a custom-made t-shirt for the 12th annual snail race. Definitely bragging rights. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the end of the race, man. The mosquitoes are coming. Snail races. The most exciting event of my life! <laughs> and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Just one other one. <laughs> Sign up for our weekly email alerts. I don't know, just follow us. He's been waiting for his... Oh, 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 God! Oh, God! Wait, oh, so Spartacus cool. is back! <laughs> I got cocky. I got cocky. I was talking it up. Unfortunately, Digger's Mirth, your spinach is taking the snails back. Just kidding. No, they're going to go somewhere else. <laughs> I probably am going to bring him back out to where I found him and put him back. <laughs>